Hello, this is Bruce with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Ivan Yankalov came up with for changing the URL of an existing SharePoint library or list. Ivan agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. For my demonstration, I've already created a list on my SharePoint site with a little bit less than optimal name. So that's my list named crappy list name. And if I zoom in up here to the top, we can see that that is also part of the URL. There's the URL and there it says crappy list name. Now I can change the title of the list easy enough through the browser, which I'll go ahead and do now. I'll go to my list tab, use my list settings button on my toolbar and from the list name, description, and navigation link, click that and I can edit the list name. Maybe I'll call it something like good list name. Click save to save it. And if I click my good list name, I can see it now shows that as the name in my quick launch. If I click the link in the quick launch, this takes me to the list and I can clearly see that my title reflects my new name. But I can also see that in my URL, it still has the old name, the crappy list name. Now there's several ways that I could change this URL, but Ivan's solution is to use a PowerShell command. And it's actually pretty simple doing it through PowerShell. So for PowerShell, I've already got this PowerShell ISC environment loaded. And as you can see, I've already loaded the uh, SharePoint snap-in so that I can issue SharePoint commands. So now what I'm going to do is grab a reference to my SharePoint site that's got the list that I want to edit. So I'm going to store that reference in a variable that I'll call web. Once that returns, I can now create a variable to store my list reference and we'll call it dollar sign list. We use the reference for my website to get to my list. And what I'll do is I'll use the list collection. And from the list collection, I can reference my list using the new name that I've given my list. So we'll call that good list name. And now using my reference to my list, dollar sign list, I can set the root folder property or access the root folder property and from the root folder property I'll use a move to command and this allows me to give it a location that I want to move which will ultimately change the URL. So this will move the contents of the list or the library. So this works both for SharePoint lists as well as SharePoint libraries. So I want to move it. I'm going to use a root relative path. So in my case that's going to be sites, Bruce's team. And then I want to keep it in a folder called lists. SharePoint lists default to a uh, list as their folder storage. You don't have to, you can move it anywhere you want. But if you want to keep it in that same, um, that same path, that's the default path, then I'll add lists as part of my path. And then whatever I want the URL to be for the new name. So I'll call this good list name. I could put spaces in if I want, but maybe I want to keep the URL without spaces, so I'll not use spaces in this case. Hit return, wait for this to come back. And as long as I don't get any errors, I should be able to go back to my site. We'll go ahead and refresh, refresh the site, refresh the home page of the site. And then I'll click my good list name in my quick launch. Successfully takes me to my list. More importantly, if I zoom in here to the top, I can see that now my URL includes or my URL is using that good list name as the URL. And also note that it's stored underneath a container called list. So that was a fairly simple solution for not only changing the name of my list, but more importantly, changing the URL that coincides with my list. Thanks again to Ivan Yankalov for the inspiration for this video. You can check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to SharePoint. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.